New video showing the arrest of a Grundy County teen on Wednesday night. We first brought you this story last night of the high school senior busted for his reaction to this year's valedictorian. When he wouldn't be quiet, he ended up in jail. Stephanie Anastasi joins us now to show us more of the arrest itself and tells us what more she's learned today. Stephanie. Josh and Kim, we began digging into the arrest of Trevor Sanders yesterday, and today we finally got a copy of the arrest affidavit. It says the parents of the student chosen as valedictorian say Sanders was harassing their daughter. They told police he was putting posts on Facebook in regards to the valedictorian situation. Sanders says he has nothing against the valedictorian and believes he's really being punished for speaking up. This video shows the arrest of 18 year old Trevor Sanders. Alex Martin, a friend of Sanders, posted the video to his Facebook page. I have a warrant for your arrest. You have a warrant for my arrest. You are arresting me, sir. Can I ask for what? The officer here goes on to tell Trevor he's being arrested for harassment. Trevor continues to ask why. Trevor Hush. According to this arrest affidavit, Trevor's Facebook posts amount to harassment of newly named Grundy County High School valedictorian for 2018. I'm being arrested for posting on Facebook. Earlier this same day, Trevor also got in trouble at school for speaking out about a rule change that now allows a student graduating in three years to be picked over a four year student. He recorded his conversation with school administrators and posted it on Facebook. You can hear school administrators telling Trevor he's harassing the valedictorian and disrupting classes. They also defend their choice of valedictorian. Okay, that's and we explained to you that we follow board policy. Back in December, it looks like the Grundy County School Board may have seen this mess coming. They took up the policy used to pick a valedictorian because it did not take into account students who might finish high school in just three years. News Channel 9 was at that meeting and watched as the discussion went nowhere and the issue was tabled. Sometime between then and now, the rules were changed, which is why Trevor says he started speaking out to begin with. Trevor, I'm hush. We asked administrators in Hamilton County what would happen if they were in a situation like this one. They tell us that a student who graduates after three years is not eligible for awards, something Grundy County students and parents are still hoping will be changed there. Trevor says what's done is done, and he has nothing against the girl picked. He and other students propose a two valedictorian solution to include both the three year student and the four year senior who thought she was going to get that honor. Josh. Stephanie, thank you. The next school board meeting in Grundy County is April 12th. Several parents tell us they plan on going to try to get the graduation policy changed. Two teenagers from Hickson now face felony charges in Florida for drugs.